This video is to show how to do the firmware update on a Fluke 1960 series. This is the uh, 196C scope meter colour. Um, currently running version 7.05, but we'll just check on that. So if we do a quick power up, get rid of the next screen. And if we go down here to user, press user, and there we've got Callum version. And according to this, it's a 196C and it's version. 07.06 so what we're going to do we're going to update that to the uh, the latest version of the software and to do that we're going to need one optical lead so this is helpful enough uh, uh, to usb and it's a part number uh, oc4 usb USB optical interface cable. Um, hopefully, it should work on Windows 10. It does actually say there it's compatible with Windows Vista XP 2000 ME 98 SC. But hopefully, just doing the update, um, this should work. But we're going to give it a go anyway and see what happens. It's the worst that can happen, I. <laughs> so, if we plug in the uh, USB lead. If we can get them in. Stop with me. There we go. Okay, and what I've done, I've brought device manager up and we're showing that we're connected to uh, there's a refresh. Comsit. Mm. Not happy about something. Uh, USB serial board com six. Okay, which is just there. That one there. So we'll give that a go. It keeps refreshing for some reason. It's not happy. Uh, we'll plug it into the scout meter, which is done on the port on the side there. So let's get so we plug that in. Um, now let's get rid of this. Enter to get rid of that. Uh, get rid of that. Okay. So now what we need to do is actually load the software, um, which I'll just bring that up. Okay. So the software flash tool is one nine C two C version 804.exe so what we're going to do now is run through that um, I have mains powered um, this just in case um, we won't drop it out through anything silly um, and let's just run through it now see what how it goes we know it's on COM6 uh, okay COM port it's COM6 and also it also needs the serial number of your unit uh, which I just happen to have there's a cut and paste so drop that in paste and now we're going to press start and we'll just see what happens just a little click well, this looks like it's going to take some time. Okay, so it's saying the unit will switch on and off a few times. Wait until the entire process is complete before operating the instrument again. Otherwise, your instrument will not function properly. This process may take 15 to 30 minutes. Well, I'm not going to sit here for 15 to 30 minutes with this here, so um, we'll just leave it running and we'll come back to it when it's done something more. The firmware update's now completed. It took roughly just over 15 minutes, really. Um, I missed sort of the end of it. I was going to come back and record it, but it's probably about 15 minutes anyway. Um, what is there to do now other than power it back up and see if we can see any major differences? All right, let's press the magic button. Okay, well, the first difference is I'm not getting the NAG screen asking me about. Uh, installing a code for the extra options so that's disappeared um, let's just check whether it has updated correctly so I'm going to version version and cal and now we're showing version 08.04 which is what we would expect because that's what the uh, firmware we installed now the firmware you can actually get from off the fluke site um, we just 
and get rid of some of the backlight. Um, I will put a link to it, it's fluke.com. Um, and you just need to look for the uh, the unit, which in my case it was the Fluke 190C series or 2 times 5 c series. Um, click on that. And I think that, uh, once you're on this page and you've decided which one you want based on the current firmware version you've got, click on that um, and save the file to wherever you want to save it. Um, I've already got it saved there, version 8.04, so I don't need to do it again. Uh, hopefully that will help if you're looking to update the firmware on your scope meter. Um, it's a simple process as long as you've got the optical interface lead. Um, and the PC that I run it on was a Windows 10, although the firmware does state um, that it's not really Windows 10 compatible. Um, it says I've got a, a sheet here which basically says uh, for use with a PC Windows XP or Vista um, and so this is Windows 10 um, and the, up, the update works